the July 26, 2021 regular Wasilla City Council meeting is called to order. The time is 6 p.m. Before we begin, Council, please put away cell phones. If you have personal business to attend to during the meeting, please move for a recess. Also, when speaking, please remember to state your name for those streaming the meeting. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Council Member Bernie? Here. Council Member Brown? Here. Council Member Belock? Here. Council Member Harvey? Here. Thank you. Uh, Council Members Rousa and Johnson are absent and excused unless there's objection from the body. We have Council Members Bernie, Brown, and Belock participating with us in person. Council Member Harvey is telephonic. You do have a quorum. Thank you. Please stand for the pledge. And Ms. Vlock, would you lead us? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. The first item of business is the approval of the agenda. Are there any changes? Hearing none, the agenda will stand as presented. There is no special orders of the day. Commission and agency reports are public hearing this evening. So we, no, oh, we, we do park, have. We do have one. Yep, Parks and Rec. We have Parks and Rec. So, Ms. Clapperidge. Thank you, Mayor and Council. Parks and Rec, uh, the Commission met on July 14th. The Commission passed a resolution in support of the Alaska Bowhunters Association to develop a static archery range in the eastern corner of Lake Lucille Park, and the legislation now moves on to the Planning Commission. There was discussion to move the security cameras at Wonderland Park to record the ongoing vandalism to the restrooms that have been occurring there at Idita Park. And the ice is in at the Menard. Uh, the conversion of the main arena went smoothly, and our summer learn to skate classes start tomorrow, and the power play hockey camp starts this Wednesday. Other upcoming events at the Menard include the All Alaska Reptile and Exotics Expo on August 7th, and Stuff the Bus returns once again for uh, on August 10th. Our parks have been heavily utilized this summer, and recognition goes to the Friends of Wasilla Parks and Rec for providing activities and programs at Idita Park in collaboration with the organizations Thrive and Youth 360. Okay, thank you. Is there any questions for our Ms. Clapperidge? Hearing none, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, there is no public hearing. We are to persons to be heard. And Tom Stearns, you're up. Good evening. My name is Tom Stearns, Senior Ambassador for the Wausau Area Seniors Incorporated. We uh, have a new telephone number. It's 907-206-8800. Uh, we still have those board vacancies that I shared with you last month. Uh, so if you're interested in uh, becoming a board member with uh, the Wassell Area Seniors Incorporated, uh, call our front uh, desk and they'll tell you how to get, uh, get everything that you need for that. Um, don't forget that on the 4th of November is our uh, groundbreaking, their ribbon cutting uh, for the uh, uh, Willow House project. And uh, they're still accepting uh, housing applications. We still have room for more people. If you want to, uh, you need a place to stay. This will be a really nice place. But the big thing that's happening is on the 14th of August. Okay, on the fort, you have a, a flyer a on your desk there. It's uh, going to be our uh, block party uh, summer celebration. We have, normally we do this with our Miles for Meals uh, uh, fun run. We have a, a barbecue and all that kind of stuff. Well, this year we didn't. Now we're going to have something uh, in August. And it's going to be from 11 to 2. Uh, on that Saturday, uh, we're going to do the normal stuff like barbecues, but we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to take, because what we're trying to do is get the 
uh, community involved and for them to see what Wasi is like. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them on tours of our building, okay, the inside of the building. Then another group is going to take them uh, on tours on the outside where all these gardens that we've been building all over the summer, uh, and I found out that they're not just in one little location, they're all over our campus, and so it's a really, really nice thing. So uh, so we're going to have that. We're going to have a... Uh, uh, dessert contest, games, uh, and it says more. And so, uh, so we would like uh, you to all come to this. Uh, the other thing is that this will be the last major event for our outgoing CEO, Chuck Foster. So uh, he'll be there, and, uh, and this is kind of his, uh, uh, a farewell to him, too. This is kind of why this was designed. So Chuck wrote, he said, come visit with us, have a, uh, a look around, chat with the seniors, and enjoy lunch. So that's, uh, uh, that was what he said. And then uh, the, uh, we're, we're still seeking our CEO. Okay. Well, I'll get one at the end, I suppose. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Stearns. David Wilson. Senator, how are you? All right. Hi. My name is uh, David Wilson, for the record, city resident, city of Wasilla. Um, just came in to, uh, before we head back off to Juno to spend some time with my wonderful city council folks, my mayor and my council folks, just to check in with you guys to see what's going on and to, uh, yeah, just uh, before we head back, I think on the 2nd, that may change. Um, obviously, there's items in the budget that have... Um, not been fully funded they've been approved but not funded so we're hopefully going to go back and fix some of those items uh, a lot of items around the matsu that uh hopefully that uh, we can continue so some, some of those items that are not funded are the 10 billion 10 million dollars sorry uh, for the road projects for the matsu borough um, and that can be used for a myriad of things it can be used for state roads city roads or borough roads as up to the borough and hopefully um, the, your partnership with them um, obviously there's that same uh, corridor that's being done right now we were able to push that forward uh, that was supposed to happen next year so we're trying to get that hopefully finish your uh, quite a, uh, a little sooner than expected and um, I'm trying to think of some other major items that are in there uh, a lot of the items are more for the further out uh, outside the city um, like the uh, Point Mac um, area for their um, the Ada project the what is that project West of Sydney Access uh, Road and so that's a, a project that has uh, been approved just not having funding attached to it yet and so that's where we're uh, where we're at right now so I stay around after the meeting to answer any questions and for those members that are here and those members that are telephonic they know my phone number and they can give me a call Okay. Thank you, sir. Anybody have questions for David? I know. <laughs> Is there anyone else that would like to speak to the council? Okay. Then we're closed, persons to be heard. And we are on to the consent agenda. Madam Clerk, please read the consent agenda. Thank you, Madam Mayor, items for approval under our consent agenda this evening are the regular meeting minutes of July 12th, 2021. We have two introductions with the public hearing date of August 9th, 2021. The first is ordinance serial number 2114, amending the fiscal year 2022 budget by appropriating $27,000 within the capital improvement fund and transferring $27,000 from the general fund for a salary survey study. Second is ordinance serial number 2115, amending the fiscal year 2022 budget by appropriating $70,200 from the general fund assigned fund balance land bank for the purchase of lot 10 block two of the Wasilla town site. No resolutions, but two action memorandums for approval. The first is AM number 2132, confirmation of election officials serving at the October 5th, 2021 regular election, and AM number 2133, awarding a contract to Frontier Supply Company in the amount of $40,653 for sewer effluent pumps. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda as read? Madam Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Is there a second? 
Councilman Brown second. It's been moved by Councilmember Bernie and seconded by Councilmember Brown to approve the consent agenda as read. Is there objection to the motion? Hearing none, the motion is approved. There is no unfinished business this evening. Madam Clerk, please read the next item of business. Thank you. A new business item 10.1, update from administration on emergency response efforts related to COVID-19. There is no change on uh, the emergency response related to COVID. So uh, we'll move. Uh, there's no items under communication, so we'll move to audience comments. Is there anyone who is present that would like to address the City Council at this time? Good evening. My name is Tom Stern, Senior Ambassador for the Wausau Area Seniors Incorporated. Uh, what I wanted to finish was uh, our search for a WASI CEO. Uh, our search for the new CEO continues and we have conducted the first round of interviews with a good group of qualified uh, candidates. The WASI board will likely choose a couple of candidates to visit WASI in person and conduct a second round of in-depth interviews before making a selection in August. So the, the, the uh, end state is we should have somebody on board sometime mid-August uh, late August. Uh, that's that's the plan, and uh, then Chuck will uh, uh, work with them for maybe a month or so, and he plans to leave mid September, and he'll be he'll be out of here. So uh, uh, so that's that's what's going on in that area. So now, is there anyone that has any questions? <laughs> no. Okay. I have one. Ah, yes, ma'am. Just uh, your new housing, do you accept pets in there? Can they have pets? Good question. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure about that. Okay. Uh, you'd have to call. Just call our front desk, and they'll direct you to the right person that can tell you that, okay. our housing manager. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay. okay. Thank you, Mr. Stearns. Uh, anyone else? Mr. Graham. Good evening, uh, Madam Mayor, members of the council. My name is Stu Graham, proud resident of the city of Wasilla. And uh, a couple things I wanted to uh, uh, bring up uh, this evening. Uh, number one, uh, 8.2.1 uh, introduction uh, for a public hearing, you know, transferring $27,000 from the general fund for a salary survey study. You know, Alaska Municipal League uh, does a salary survey every year and publishes a report uh, every year. So I would hope that the council would uh, take a look at that uh, and see if that is sufficient uh, to meet the needs here before we spend $27,000 uh, to duplicate efforts that are already out there. Uh, second thing on my uh, list uh, today is uh, invasive weeds. You know, undoubtedly you've noticed the amount of soapweed uh, around the city. This is the time where uh, all the spores bloom. I mean, soapweed is that, uh, you know, four to five to sometimes even six foot tall weed that you see on the roadsides. It looks like little white or yellow candles. Uh, that is an invasive weed, you know, brought up uh, from outside, you know, inadvertently probably by uh, construction companies and other things there. But if you have that on your property, uh, please pull that crap out. You know, I mean, it. Uh, you leave it for a year and it comes back five times as much uh, next year. And it'll continue to do that. But if you pull it out this year, uh, that plant won't, uh, you know, uh, repopulate uh, the next year. There may be new stuff comes in, but over time, over three or four years, you can get that stuff completely off your property. So between that and the purple veg, please uh, take a look at that. Also wanted to mention some vandalism at Carter Park. Uh, Carter Park is uh, right there on the end of Lake Louise. It appears like over the weekend, uh, some vandals tried to remove the sign from Carter Park, so they have damaged the sign. Uh, hopefully that can get, uh, doesn't need to be replaced, but if we get it repaired, you know, in the next day or two, uh, we, we should be in good shape. So I hope we can get that done. And the last thing I wanted to mention is the, uh, uh, homeless camp and uh, drug supermarket that has been operating all summer at the end of Railroad Avenue. Also, uh, you know, uh, down uh, near Carter Park, but it's kind of around the corner. Uh, so I, I would hope we could get increased police presence in that area to uh, deter uh, people from going there. I know there's may not be a whole lot we can do about it unless we actually catch people doing stuff, but uh, police presence 
generally tends to significantly decrease drug activity in that area according to the residents has become a virtual supermarket of drugs and is drawing in some very interesting people that really don't belong in that neighborhood and that's all i have for you tonight i appreciate uh, your your time uh, and your service thank you very much okay thank you mr green is anyone else would like to speak hearing none we are moving on to council comments uh mr brown No comments. Mr. Bernie. No comment tonight. Thanks. Ms. v -Luck. No comments, Mayor. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Harvey. No comments. Okay. And now, Madam Clerk. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, just a reminder, we have a special meeting scheduled this Thursday, 6 o'clock. It's a one-item one meeting, and that's to uh, consider a resolution in opposition to the borough sales tax initiative. So, and then our next regular meeting will be Monday, August 9th. AML conference is coming up. Council members Brown and Belock are confirmed to attend. And that's all I have, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Mayor, if, yes. if I may, I do have one question for the clerk. Do you know if anybody from the borough is going to be here? our special meeting sir not that I'm aware of uh, okay madam attorney no comment mayor okay uh, that leaves it up to me this has been a very very short meeting uh, not much to discuss but uh, I urge all of you to take a look at that sales tax um, it will be detrimental to uh, the city of Wasilla so Look at it, form your own opinion, and think about what it'll do to us. So I will see everybody here Thursday night, 6 p.m., for the special council meeting. With that, we are adjourned at 6.17. James Harvey.